Hey, Candace. Hey, Lonnie. I saw an advert that read, television for sale, $1, volume stuck on full. I thought, I can't turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happens if a frog parks illegally? He gets towed. Hey, you got it. Yes. Wow, you nailed it. <laughs> and she didn't read it either because that, that was like turned down. Yeah, I didn't. I don't. That was an obvious. You're an official dad now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I used to love my job collecting leaves. I was raking it in. <laughs> to, <laughs> to the person, to the person who invented the zero. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> These are great. Yeah, they are. They're oh my god, they always make me laugh. <laughs> Uh-oh, that thing's making some noise over there. Yeah, we did move a 3D printer in into the shed here. Got got something going now. Um, it is, what is today? Today's we're gonna... Thursday. Thursday, yeah. We're gonna... Yeah. We're gonna try and... I guess we're gonna try and see if we can go to garage sales this weekend. Who knows? Probably yeah. can't. We'll see. The weather's supposed to be nice, so maybe... Yeah, or or we might if we can't do that, we we might try and do some a few estate sales. Yeah, maybe estate sales on Sunday. Yeah. Um. Maybe pick up some stuff, unlisted stuff. Yeah, we we definitely need uh, some fresh inventory. We need some fresh inventory. We we've been listing like our old unlisted stuff, and great, it's not the best to be honest. It's yeah. not the best stuff for the most part. There's a few gems every now and then, but yeah it's tough so i would love to be able to mix in some good fresh uh garage sale or estate sale finds so we mm -hmm. need to get out there and get out there and get it done hit the pavement yeah we need to hit the yeah we need to hit the streets <laughs> <laughs> we haven't uh i've been kind of scouring facebook and there's been nothing yeah yeah this is a tough time of year yeah. for sourcing so uh i think we have 12 orders to pull this morning uh, which is good. Nothing, nothing really huge, but I ought to be able to pull them fast and get a pack fast, and then I uh, get to some listing. And also, uh, we need to do at least a couple of shelves uh, today. Inventory, yeah. inventory for inventory. I can at least finish this one off. Just have one done. All right. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. We'll, we'll. Uh, we need to try and get get the whole thing done within a week. I don't want to do it all on one day though, because yeah. we have a uh, we've been. We've been like super, super busy with some other un unrelated stuff in our personal life. Yeah. So, uh, it's we, always something I tell you. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. We we need to shift. I feel like soon as we uh, get our head above water, something happens and yep. we're distracted again. You know. I think it's just part of having having kids and being older, and I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's life. <laughs> But here we are in the shed though this morning. Uh, we, Like I said, we have 12 orders to pull, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get started. One Delta. I think we have several card orders this morning. One Delta U, it's a poo hole. We sold a poo hole. U86. Here we go. It's another one of those uh, Maple Woods Community College uh, Albert Pujols cards. Got $3.99 plus eBay standard envelope on top. And another card pull for B. B102. It is this guy, Tiger Wild, I think it says. He sold for $4.99 plus shipping on top. And five Echo, I think it's gonna be on this side. 5 Echo B4. Okay, so it's going to be in this box right here. A little Barbie box. That's what the B is for, I think. 5 Echo B4. Here we go. This is a lot of Barbie clothes that sold for $22.49 plus shipping on top. And Candace claims, we're going to 7 Bravo, by the way. Candace claims that this hat, she moved this. Oh, it's the last thing in there. 
This is a an, this is an American Girl hat, right, Ken? Yeah. So yesterday I listed some Barbie clothes, and I I know we used to have a um a little bin like that back there with Barbie clothes in it, so I was seeing if it was still there, and um I opened that up, and there was that little hat sitting by itself, and then later that day it sold. Alien drawer. Alien drawer we sold. Uh oh. Oh no, they're right here. Golly, blind. Um, I listed these two we moats yesterday, and they sold yesterday. The pair for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping on top. And I listed this game, Guitar Hero World Tour, and I pulled a Candace. <laughs> you know what that means? No. I didn't put an inventory location. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think you're about half as guilty as me. Huh? Guilty half the time. Oh, I am. A lot of times. Yeah, I make. Well, I make. I think if we if we counted up our mistakes, I make way more than you do. Speaking of that, did you see? <laughs> um, somebody messages last night about a listing. Go ahead and finish that. Okay, Guitar Hero World Tour sold for nine ninety nine plus shipping. I listed this yesterday too, by the way. All right, what you got? Somebody messaged us yesterday about um, something that you had listed, uh -huh. and they're like, um, it has free returns on that y'all don't do that right i'm like no so i went and looked and it was something you listed yesterday so i went back and responded i'm like that's what happens when lonnie lists items <laughs> yeah well guess what I, I went and looked so candace told me about it so i came out here because i wanted to like bulk bulk yeah. look or whatever and i looked i didn't look at everything but i went back like a couple days and it, it had free returns on everything we've listed for the past few days at, at least yeah so but i don't know when it started but whoever that was uh thank you yeah thank you because i went through and uh bulk edited everything and changed them to buyer pace returns so yeah that's crazy i know I, it's ebay <laughs> i know and, and uh you know what's really crazy is that somebody knew that we didn't want to do that and contacted us i know that's oh my gosh i'm so grateful that that's wild gone on for a month and then all of a sudden somebody wants us to pay their return shipping and we'll be like what <laughs> <laughs> right all right cc11 we sold a fontanini cc11 fontanini and it is lydia hopefully this is a lydia it sure is this Lydia Fontanini fig sold for $22.49 plus shipping on top. Then in pocket 90, is there anything in here? It's supposed to be a, uh, yeah, it sure is. This little thing here looks like a bracelet or something for Monster, Monster High doll. Sold for $6.99 plus ship. And just one more thing, already pulled these. Uh, have one order with one Nowitzki card, another order with two Dirk Nowitzki cards. And that listing, they're coming out of this little box here. And that listing has done super well. I was just telling Ken, it seems like we just sold so many of those. And look, this is, I mean, we're only selling them for $6.99, so it's not huge money or anything. But look, we've got 13 available and we've sold 22. So we've sold about $150 worth of those cards now. And uh, obviously it's like super easy to ship. So I really like that. Fun story. Uh, I think I've, I've only been to one NBA game ever. I think, yeah, I've only been to one NBA game ever. Remember Candace when you got, got me these tickets that yeah, time we went saw the hornets for birthday or something it was anniversary anniversary it was uh i think i gave them to you for christmas and then we ran around our anniversary something yeah and that was when the new orleans was called like she said it was called the hornets yeah. they weren't the pelicans at that point and uh uh the mavs came into town and i i wanted to go see nowitzki play yeah that's the reason we got those tickets to go it, see they're not the uh, hornets right right we wanted to see the hornets too but that's the reason we went to that game yeah uh yeah I, actually i didn't care about the hornets at all i didn't like them at all i kind of like them now but uh yeah i've seen him play so that's a man that's how old we are though because that dude is long retired now yeah he might i don't he might be about to go in the hall of fame i don't yeah, know I wonder what 
year that was. That was that seems like so long ago. It was a long time ago. Yeah. It might have been like his second or third year in the league. Yeah, he was pretty fresh. Very tidy little stack of orders there. Um, I did forget to pull one thing. In the cube, sold another rock band game. I don't know how I missed this. Rock band two. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top also. Have one more thing that's going out. It's actually in storage. Um, it's a little collector plate thing. Actually, I'll show it to y'all now. Might, we're going over there anyway today for some other stuff. I'm wondering if I might go ahead and bring all of those here. Because that's one of the few things I actually have to go get out of there every now and then. All right, so we um, we had to run to our storage yesterday to bring, like, to pack away our Christmas stuff. So we grabbed some things that we had while we were there. Some things that have been sitting there a while. Now, we had this tub that had, like, some of the... I don't know if you remember that big Beanie Baby buy a few years ago. It had some stuff sitting on top of that, so Lonnie just thought it was all Beanie Baby, but underneath the Beanie Baby stuff was all these dolls and plush. Um, a lot of vintage stuff. Holly Hobby, Raggedy Ann. Look at this cool uh, Klein Peter. If, if you're local, you'll know who that is. That's the old Klein Peter mascot guy. Yeah, the farmer. Yeah. This is an Olympic mascot. Um, we've got like pound puppies. Here's a Snoopy. Look at this pound puppy. That's from 1985. Somebody put earrings and on then, the dog's ears. And then pin and a necklace. <laughs> and a necklace. Um, yeah, we have some dolls. That Bear was, uh, what company was that? I, said it, I, I can't, Gund, maybe? Yeah. I can't remember, but it's like from 1978. This is uh, Lonnie like this one. What did it say? It said, shake me shake and I me puff up. And I puff up. Yeah, Go ahead, here, shake here. him. All right, see, or is he already kinda, puffed? No, he's kind of ratty looking. At... Look, now he's puffed. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it works. <laughs> These are these are interesting. You know, they're not worth anything, probably. When I was you a kid, know. when I was a kid, they had like the local school carnivals, and these crochet body things were always prizes, at least down here. So I thought that was interesting. This guy looks really old. No, oh, that you know what that might be the Gund. Maybe so. But yeah, he's from the seventies, I think. Yeah. So yeah, those that'll be fun. Kind of look researching all those. There's gonna be some gems in there, I think. And like the music you heard playing a minute ago, that's this one. Yeah, this one has a built-in uh, music box. Place Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yeah, that's cool. Those are those are neat. And then here's some of the Beanie Baby stuff. I mean, we've got like a bag of Class of '98 owls. That might. That's probably gonna be a donate unless we look it up and see see yeah, something else. Yeah, the uh, the membership club packets. We have several of those. This weird little guy, just in time. What is that? Oh, that's a, that's a tithe, something yeah. or another. His name is Shenanigan. Shenanigan. <laughs> hey, they call me Shenanigans. Oh, shenanigans. <laughs> um, shenanigans. Oh, some of the coins, we've sold those before. And just yeah. um, some of the like collector club bears are in here. Maybe we could put a little lot together or something. Yeah, here's some tag protectors. That was the big thing, protect your tags. <laughs> Um, okay, so then we also got this bag of Garbage Pail Kid cards. Yeah, they're not... They're in pretty rough shape. I wouldn't say rough, because I've definitely seen worse, but I mean, they're definitely not in they, good shape. They're not like mint or whatever. No, not at all. Um, this is a case for like one of those mini helmets, you know, the little football helmets. Mm -hmm. Probably could sell that for a few dollars. Some posters of some sort. We got... Uh, Pam Anderson. I think it's a whole box of them. We didn't really. This yeah, is this 10. is. Uh, yeah, we have some other like uh, new kids on oh, the no, block. It's cards. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Are they all the same? I don't know. I didn't look at them. It's weird how it has VIP. I uh, know. I don't know why they wrote that. See if you could. Okay. Yeah, they're. I don't know how they're yeah. packed. Those are like I think vending machine packs. Go ahead, take the rear band off. Okay. See what there is. I'm just trying to make sure there's no nudity before I pop one open. Okay. Okay, that's is. what they are. They're like encased in this cardboard, and then there's a like, it's a, like a, photo. a photo. It's like a glossy wallet size photo of Pam. Okay. Are they are the other ones in that same stack the same? Or are these because it looks like they're rubber banded? No, they're different. So maybe maybe it's complete sets. Maybe so. Hmm. So we may be able to sell you know um, a set at a time, or yeah. I'll sell the whole box, whatever. Yep. So. Those are interesting. Yeah, we got some other stuff too. One other box of stuff. 
There was also that little stack of posters there. Yeah, they're different Marvel posters. Uh, they're not. Yeah, that one's only that one's only like four or five years old. Yeah, they're not super old, but we have just some different Marvel posters. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah. I mean, even if, again, even if we uh, end up lotting that up, that's an easy ship at least. Yeah. I could put that in a comic mailer. And then here's four more, so we'll get those open and see what cool. we have. Cool. All right, the other thing that we got. Oh. I found this. This is a. Uh, this is actually good. This is is in a box. This is a Wii Motion Plus Wii Mote that came from Second and Charles at some point. And they were oh man, that's not a bad deal. They were they only charged nine ninety five for that. Hmm. That's a damn good deal. You could make you could flip those at yeah. that price. I mean, not you wouldn't make much money at all, but you could. And then we have. Uh, a whole box full, I think. If you've been watching for a while, you might remember when I got these because I got these and I had a bunch of other, like a big stack of other calendars too. And like the other calendars were mostly like uh, NFL or NBA or NHL cheerleaders. We might have something here. I don't know. Yeah, we've got Sports Illustrated calendars from all different years. Looks like mostly 90s. Looks like a lot of them weren't even opened. Like, this is open, but they didn't take it out. Cause no. You can't get it. Well, they may have. but um, yeah. Some of them are, we don't know if they did or not, but some of them are sealed. I think it says free gifts and clothes, so I think this is also a poster maybe. So it's, it may not, it may potentially have other things in there besides just calendars. <laughs> Well, you, you know, whenever you used to get the, uh, whenever you used, used to get the subscription, they would, this would send, be like the gift annually, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I think most of them, you know what's cool though, is this look, this is how I'm going to ship, ship them. them in these, I'm going to huh? ship them in these. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. You can ship them in the original shipping container. So it looks like, I don't know what these are worth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 17. Nice. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Those might be really good. I don't know. Yeah. Let's look one up. I'll look up that one right there real quick. Let me see. 2009 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Calendar. All right, looking through these real quick. Like we have this calendar and somebody sold it for 20, 17 plus ship. Uh, I think most of these two. I also saw somebody sell, sold what six? A lot of six consecutive years for seventy dollars plus ship. And so, they they had the um, they had the posters. Some of these come with posters. That one does not have the posters. Okay, some come with posters and some don't. Yeah. So yeah, we we probably we've got well over a hundred dollars in calendars here though. I would say. Oh, definitely. More than that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I think we have close to 200. Can we keep one? I don't care. Which one do you like? They have one with guys? <laughs> no, that's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but that's just a few things we got from storage. And it's amazing. Like, we'll go into storage and we'll just find pocket, like, a box of stuff. And it's like, oh, I didn't know this was here. Yeah. I didn't know this was here. I didn't know this was here. It's kind of, it's really fun for me because this is like stuff he acquired when I was not working in the shed. So it's like, it's like finding new stuff for me, you know? Well, there was a time before Candace started working, working with me. There was a time where I was getting so much inventory in. I could not, I, I was swamped. I couldn't keep up. You didn't even look through some of it sometimes. No, sometimes I just didn't have time. Yeah. Like, you know, probably those stuffed animals. You didn't know what was in there. No, I didn't. And it's yeah. especially especially doing youtube um youtube cuts into time some i i was just 100 percent swamped so we've been slowly playing catch up and that was our that was our plan last winter and we ended up getting a bunch more inventory so this winter we've actually been making a huge dent yeah and unlisted yeah. so we're actually doing what we wanted to do right last year it's free inventory it is. We're not spending any money on this now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that money's long spent. Yep. All right. Nobody likes returns, right? On eBay for eBay sellers, we all we all hate returns. And this one, I don't love it, obviously. But as far as a return on a big breakable item, it went as painfully 
least painfully as possible. <laughs> right. As, painfully, as least painfully as possible. That's always the worst. Like a return, yeah. it's not that bad. But then when it's a return on a big, fragile item. Yeah, you just know that they're not going to pack it well. It's not going to get back to you in the shape that you sent it. Right. And in this case, that's not true. So let me tell you what happened. Um, this is one of our large Fontanini pieces. And um, when I listed it, I put five inch scale. My mistake, because I, I assume anybody buying Fontanini Nativity knows what the different scale sizes are. Um, I did not put the dimensions of the actual item in the description. So I, I'm thinking the lady has a three inch scale Nativity and she said this was just way too big for her Nativity, so. She wrote, look, she packed it really nice. Like you can see the packaging down yeah. here. Uh, and she wrote, I don't know, we're not going to show the note or she, anything. Yeah, she wrote a really but nice But she wrote note. a nice handwritten note. Yeah, she apologized. I'm sorry this didn't work out. Thanked us for, you know, being so nice about it. She paid shipping back to us. Yeah. So I respect, like, everything. She packed it extremely well. She, she packed it well, padded it inside the box, and then double boxed it. And she had paper all around it to make sure it was protected. So um, kudos to her. She did a great job shipping. I mean, she yeah. may have missed her calling. Maybe she is an eBay seller. I don't Might know. be. And yeah. she also even, uh, the big thing is, for return reason, uh, she put ordered wrong item. No, she put just didn't like, well, she did, but then she put in the description just, just didn't, didn't like, like it or something. Yeah. It was, this she one She like never put the blame on us. No, never. Ordered wrong item is what it says on yeah. this packing slip. So, you know, hey, like, I don't love getting it back. But, uh, I mean, big respect to this eBay buyer. And I checked it over good, made sure there was nothing different, no damage, no little nicks or anything from when we originally listed it. So I just relisted with the same listing, and I put the dimensions in the description. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say, Candace, you got to put the dimensions this time on every time. On I know. I, I forget that maybe people... So, yeah. Or she may have missed it, because I only had it in the title. My bad again. No. So she may have not even noticed that it was in the title, you know. Yeah. So not a not a positive, but not a negative. Uh, actually, I say it is a positive. It kind of restores my faith in humanity a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because uh, I just knew she was just gonna have it like loose in this right. box and, and slap a label on it or something. I didn't know. What, I was expecting like the worst, and it was the best. And that's actually like the worst case scenario on eBay is when you get like so i return something they pack it real crappy and it shows back up broken that's hard to deal with like you might be able to get ebay to do something with it you're probably gonna have to go through the carrier and then they might they might deny it because it wasn't packed well or what who knows it's a big mess though yeah either way it's gonna be a huge hassle if you do get your money back but this was not that's and, the chance you take with uh returns though. and all you did all you all you did was just you just added those dimensions like you said <clears throat> you just added those dimensions like you said and then you hit relist right yeah that's that it. was it and then we we'll even just... have room on the same location it came out of it's even going back to the same location okay good <laughs> good and then uh what you doing with your calendar girls my calendar girls <laughs> uh well i'm gonna look at all of them first just look at it Look at them. Would you just look at it? <laughs> what else can you do? Did you find any with guys in it? No, I, uh, I didn't look. I didn't look that close. I'm but, sure you would notice. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't flip through every page. I'm, I'm, I'm po pretty positive there's no guys in here. Okay. But, um, look, we have mostly consecutive run from 1997 all the way up to 2014. There's 15 calendars here. I think we're missing like two years. So I'm going to lock these up, probably try and get probably about 120 for this stack, about $8 a piece. That, I think that would probably be a pretty good deal. this in there with it? Probably not. I don't, that, I don't know if that's worth anything or not. Enough? Take her with you. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's an ad that came in one of those, those uh, calendars for si mobile and you could buy a wallpaper for your flip phone <laughs> for a dollar each one only costs a dollar 99 <laughs> man man remember people used to buy ringtones oh and i honest? did i bought ringtones <laughs> and then i also ended up with this huge stack i don't know how many probably probably 20 some of those some some of those had like double 
posters in them and stuff. I'm probably gonna, so what I'm gonna probably do is make a poster lot as well. There's, they're not naked. I know. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a, and, and these are calendars also. They're just all on one poster. Yeah. So I think this is gonna be uh This was a weird one. Wasn't this it? Yeah. It did, all it says is full color poster inside. It doesn't explain There's no what year. it is. There's no year on the front. Okay, 2009 October, 2011 March. It's just random months and years. I don't here. see why that's... I don't understand why it's like that. Maybe it was like fan favorites or Best something. Best of. Yeah, something. I don't know. But it, it, usually they would put that on the front or something. It's weird. Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to work on the calendars. Candace, I guess, is going to work on that stuff the we stuff, the animals, yeah. showed y'all earlier. Yeah. And as far as this video goes, that's a wrap. Thanks a bunch for watching y'all, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all.